What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl VGC Best of 3. Today I just hit up my Discord and I said, hey, you know, I want to record a Best of 3 with someone. Uh, and I had someone in the Discord say, yeah, 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 I got a team in, uh, I got a team in game and I'm uh, good to go. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be facing off against uh, this Discord member and yeah, we're going to do our best. Anyways, we're using the same team as last time, but if you guys enjoy this same point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And that's my comment question of the day. If you could remove one Pokemon from the BDSP VGC metagame, what would it be? Let me know. Anyways, looks like uh, they're running a pretty standard team. Um, we got Chomp, Cress, Togekiss, Arcanine. Yeah, all seems uh, very standard. I'm going to go ahead and... I don't know how much Empoleon will be able to do this game. Empoleon seems kind of threatened. However, it does hard wall the Scizor. Um, I think my best bet is going to be Harry. I'm a Crest lead. Empoleon in the back. And I could see my Rotom, wa or my Rotom Mo doing a little bit of work. However, I have to be pretty careful with that uh, Scizor. Uh, this team, I noticed, I played in a tournament over the weekend. And I might upload a highlight from that. Um, but something I noticed with my team is it definitely needs a fire type. And I might end up swapping an Arcanine or maybe making the Rotom... Uh, a Rotom Heat in the future, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking I should go Togekiss here. It's probably, yeah, it's probably my safest bet. Not not ideal though, you know, we're facing off against a Scissor. I, I definitely need to get like a, I don't know, like an Arcanine or something on this team. I need something for those pesky fire, or for those pesky steel types, you know? All right. So they end up going with the Rotom Cresselia. Um, I honestly don't even know if I want to fake out this turn. I kind of want to just go for the knock. Yeah, fake out's probably a bit better. Um, gonna go for the fake out onto the Caress. And I'll set up my Trick Room. Because at the very least, they can't reverse it then. There's the fake out. Nice. And there's the Trick. Oh no, what am I getting? A Scarf? Yeah, there's the Scarf. Cresselia gets the Choice Scarf. Honestly, not the end of the world. <laughs> I have to switch every time I want to set up Trick Room now. Uh, but... At the very least, I still have knockoff potential. I could knock off my own Cress. I, I could end up knocking off my own Cress if worse comes to worse. But uh, it's probably my best interest is to knock off this Cresselia right now. And uh, actually, no. I'm not really worried about Crest. I, I should be more worried about this Rotom. Go for the knock there. And I can probably get in my... Hmm. Is the Rotom going to be faster than my Kiss? It depends how they built it. I'm probably best going into Empoleon. It's just safest. All right. Here's the knock. Should be doing some pretty decent damage. Oh yeah, that's good. Got rid of those leftovers. There's the psychic. I'm gonna take a pretty decent chunk here, but I'm very specially defensive, so I'm gonna take it pretty well. There's the volt switch onto my Hariyama. Probably gonna go into the Arcanine, but uh, by switching in my Empoleon there, I was trying to stave that off. So if they do go into the Arcanine, they're not gonna have a great time. If they end up going into Scizor, they get walled out by Empoleon, and if they end up going into like Togekiss, they're just not gonna have a good time. So. There's the Chomp. I actually don't mind that at all. Um, what I could do here is... Do I want to... Mm, I'm still slower than Chomp after an Icy Wind. What I could do here is knock off the Cress. I, I definitely want to knock off the Cress. This endgame is going to be very annoying if I don't. And... Maybe I do double the Chomp. The only thing is that Rough Skin could really mess me up. I'm going to say they don't stay in with Cress here. Uh, I'm going to go into my kiss, and I'm going to go ahead and, how many turns of Trick Room are gone? It's still the first turn, pretty much, or the first turn just went away. Mm. Do I Icy Wind? He's going to end up being slower than my, than my kiss is the issue. I think I do. I think I have to. Alright, hopefully I don't stand with Caress, otherwise this would have been a really bad turn for me. <laughs> I would have given up a lot of pressure. There's the Protect on the Chomp. Alright, that's not the end of the world. 
I do wish I went for that knockoff, though. That's actually really bad for me. However, the fact that the Garchomp stayed in uh, means that it's, you know, under Trick Room. Oh, he reversed the Trick Room. Okay. Um, this still isn't the end of the world. I can definitely take an Earthquake here. And now that Trick Room's reversed, I'm not in a bad spot, actually. <laughs> that's very, that's pretty ironic. Alright, I'm gonna go for the Icy Wind here, uh, into Dazzling Gleam. If they end up going for the Earthquake, uh, they're gonna lose their Garchomp. Alright, something's gonna come in and it's not gonna like this. Scizor, okay. If I get the crit on the Scizor, I'm gonna be pretty happy with the outcome of this turn. I do look like I get the crit there. Nope, just in the crest. Okay. <laughs> the question is, do they dare bullet punch my Togekiss when it's so obvious I could just, you know, attack? I should definitely be faster with my Empoleon now. So I can go for the Waterfall. My play's probably just going to be to protect the Kiss. Because I'm very much relying on getting a Trick Room off with my Cresselia in the back somehow and not losing because I'm Choice Scarfed. Um, and then knock offing later on in the game. But I'm going to go ahead and protect her. I want to get this thing in range of... I, I want to get it in range of Waterfall plus Dazzling Gleam. So hopefully they don't Swords Dance here. Hopefully they just Bullet Punch Ice Beam or something. Yeah, there's the BP. I'm actually specifically EV'd to tank a hit from this thing. I'm supposed to take one Bullet Punch naturally. So that's in range. Uh, okay, it's no longer in range. It's citrus. I was going to say, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not in a bad spot, but uh, that's not looking too good. Yeah, they did end up doubling, which is good info. Uh, my crest can come in here. Do I want to get rid of the scissor? I think I definitely need this Togus if I want to win this first game. I'm going to go into my crest. It's pretty much the most useless Pokemon I have right now, and I'm going to go for Waterfall into Scizor. Uh, hopefully it doesn't set up. Bullet Punch isn't going to do much to my crest, but I have to be very careful for, like, X's or something. And I'm also getting a lot of good info in this first game. There's the U-turn. Alright. That's not going to do much. Um, matter of fact, I think regardless of what they go into, they're not going to like the outcome of this turn. Because Rotom is within range of, like, Waterfall plus Ironic Scarf Ice Beam. Um... <laughs> I, I, it just feels weird saying Scarf Ice Beam on a Cresselia. Yeah. There's their Ice Beam. Am I faster? Am I faster than a Rotom with Choice Scarf? I'm 94. What's 94 times 1.5? Hold on, I gotta do some math. Doing doing some math. I have to make sure I'm faster, otherwise it's gonna be a really bad turn for me. We got like one minute to do this. 94 times 1.5, I'm just gonna round that to be like 150-ish. Um, versus Rotom. Timid max speed Rotom hits 150. I think I'm faster. There's no way they're timid max speed. I'm gonna Ice Beam here. And I suppose I can protect. Why not? Yeah. Thanks for the scarf. <laughs> I, I could have attacked, but I, I... I didn't feel like doubling down on that. That felt very risky. I should have committed and just gone for the waterfall. Um, luckily, nothing Crest does can really break my Empoleon. I guess if they set up all the way, it's not going to be great. Um... But I don't necessarily mind the position I'm in. Uh, with this end game, if I can somehow manage to set up a trick room, I can, I might be able to break this thing. And crit kiss is going to be huge. Like I have to just like hammer away at this cress. All right. Um, I know for a fact they're just going to EQ here. Do I icy wind here? I have to icy wind. Um. Because then I don't need Trick Room to win. Dang it, okay. Alright, so the reason I need Icy Wind is because there's no chance they're switching out the Cresselia for the rest of the game. And if I can get into a position where Crest is guaranteed slower than my Hariyama, uh, I can win. 
And I am Shookaberry, so I'm guaranteed to take this hit. There's the Ice Beam. Don't freeze me. Alright, yeah, I don't mind you really doing too much to Cress here. Alright, uh, just same play as last time. I'm gonna break the Yachi Berry on one of these attacks, so if they are Yachi Berry, <laughs> they're not gonna like this. It also doesn't look like they have Protect on that Cress. They haven't clicked it once this game. Even when, like, the Hariyama was in and was ready and willing to click a knockoff. Cresselia avoids, that's actually huge. Because then I'm guaranteed some damage here. Uh, don't flinch in Pulleon. Alright, they're Life Orb. Nice. Alright, come on, don't flinch. Awesome, awesome, alright. That Crest, there's no chance the Crest is faster than my Hariyama now, so I feel pretty confident with this endgame. Like, it's still iffy, there still is a, a Scizor, but it's at low health, I can just Ice Beam and Waterfall it, and the Crest doesn't have the damage output needed to get rid of this Empoleon. They, they pretty much have to freeze if they want to win. And, like, knockoff plus Crit Kiss is going to be huge for winning the endgame. Who's the thumbnail, though? Is it gonna be... Is it gonna be Scizor or is it gonna be Hariyama? Or am I just gonna be like, Oh, yeah, look at this. It's Ice Beam Choice Scarf Cresselia. Check him out. There he is, people. There's the goat. Alright, they don't protect. That's huge. No damage that really matters, you know? Just... It's, it's damage, I suppose. And like I said, I am guaranteed to be able to take one bullet punch. <laughs> so this is going to be a very interesting endgame. There's the waterfall. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. There's the ice beam. Uh, my play here is don't freeze. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> my play here is going to be to protect my Tokus and go for the waterfall. Because I need this Hariyama. And like I said, um, this Cresselli is like at minus 3 speed now, so. Is it minus 3 or minus 4? Regardless, it's a Cresselli. It's not going to like getting knocked off. If they Trick Room here, they are absolutely cracked. There's the X Scissor. Not doing much. Waterfall. Get that KO. And I'm liking the position I'm in. I am liking this position. I got a Pokemon that crits like every single time it attacks, and I got a freaking it guts boosted knockoff Hariyama, whatever we call it. You know, it's just a good Pokemon. All right, let me go for this uh, D Gleam here. It's my strongest move. Go for the Waterfall, possible chance to flinch. I just need to get some chip on it. Crit. All right, that's in range of knockoff. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they don't have Protect. There's the Psychic. Please take my Empoleon. Thank you. Awesome. Alright. And they are 100% in range of knockoff. Plus Dazzling Gleam. Like, even if I don't crit the Dazzling Gleam, I think it'll it'll do enough. Um, and they also can't stall me out with, like, you know, Flame Orb. Alright. Watch it actually not be slower than me. <laughs> Watch it actually not be slower. I'd be so upset. Alright, come on, baby. Hariyama, you're like literally zero speed, but I need you to pull through here. There we go. All those icy wins. Empoleon carried. Empoleon carried. Alright. GG game one. Alright, let's get into game two here. Play the same rules. Yeah, he's like, man, I'm not used to counting Trick Room turns. Same. <laughs> same, man. I, I hate counting Trick Room turns. Like, I have to actually keep in mind, oh yeah, it's five turns, or is it four? Does the first turn count? I forget. The game no longer keeps track of it for me. It's so frustrating. Anyways, uh, so last time they went Rotom Cresselia. Uh, I stand by my Hariyama 
Crest lead. I stand by that. Uh, I'm going to bring like the same Pokemon. The reason I'm doing this is just because it seems to work pretty well. Um, we got the info that they definitely don't have Protect on that Cresselia. They revealed Calm Mind, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Trick Room. So there's no chance they have Protect. There's Garchomp Rotom. That's a free Trick Room. I'm going to fake out this Rotom. I definitely don't want to get Scarfed again. And under Trick Room, obviously, I can knock off the Choice Scarf. Um, they're going to have to bank on a Rock Slide flinch here, I think. This is a very good set so far. And obviously, the Rotom doesn't have Protect. All right. That thing might be a knockoff range, judging by how much I did last time. If I get, like, the highest possible roll, it might get KO'd, because it seems like it's running not much bulk and a lot of speed. Alright, let's go for the knock. Prevent it from scarfing me. Go for the ice beam. And this game's already going a lot more smoothly, because we're not gonna get, um... <laughs> we're not gonna get surprised by that scarf. God, Hariyama is gonna quickly become one of my favorite Pokemon in the game. Like, this is such a cool Pokemon to run in this format. Its immunity to sleep is huge. It's just high damage output is amazing. It's just such a good Pokemon overall. Oh yeah, that that he he didn't even stand a chance there. Um I'm very tempted to close combat here, I gotta admit. We know it's citrus though. Knockoff's just smarter. Knockoff's just smarter. Because I can go into my Empoleon and just knock. Yeah, there's the Cress. Um actually, do I want to just knock the Cress first? Really, it's it's the Cresselia that's giving me the most grief here. And we know it doesn't have Protect. I'm willing to do this. Knock on Crest is going to be huge. Uh, and I'll go into my own Empoleon. Since they're likely just going to X Scissor. We haven't seen Swords Dance yet, but I, I, you can kind of assume that if it's a Scissor, it's got Swords Dance. Big damage. There we go. Say goodbye to your recovery. And like I said, I'm very specially defensive. They'd have to double here to knock me out. As it seems that they did not. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, here I can go ahead and knock the scissor. And I ho hopefully I'm not in bullet punch range. Ah, I can't speak. Hopefully I'm not in bullet punch range. That's my main fear. Um, we have seen protect on the scissor before. Let's send a note. Uh, but I'm not terribly concerned about it. Really, I just want to get rid of this. Yeah. Big damage. And it looks like my Empoleon's going to pick up the KO. Nice. There's the Psychic, we're going to lose our boy, but uh, we're in a pretty good spot here. We are in a pretty good spot. Uh, Garchomp doesn't have the tools necessary to break a Cresselia, and if we go into... If we go into our own Cresselia, we're pretty much guaranteed to win, as long as I target the Cress here. I have to double the Cress is the issue. I'm going to Ice Beam. I'm going to go Waterfall. We're pretty sure they don't have Protect, and they should be inclined to Protect the Chomp here until Trick Room runs out. And even if they do, even if they do end up uh, Protecting the Chomp and Reversing Trick Room because they survive, uh, I'll be able to just Icy Win the next turn thanks to my Shooka Berry. Let's see if that's enough. It's probably not. Ice Beam, I have no investment in Special Attack. Yeah. As they Ice Beam. And they Swords Dance. Oh, this is scary. This is scary. I definitely have to Icy Wind here. There's like no shot that they're not gonna... <laughs> There's no shot they're not gonna EQ. Oh no. Oh no. Actually, mm, do I Trick Room? I'm gonna Trick Room and I'm gonna Protect. Let's see if they double Trick Room. Rock slide? Okay. Alright. Cresselia voids? Nice. Okay, I got it. That's a win. They don't have a chance of winning now. Because they just ice beam their chomp and uh as I'm I'm a pretty bulky Tokus. I am timid, nearly max speed. Not not entirely max speed, but I'm pretty close. Um 
There's no way, like, Adamant Chomp underspeeds me, right? There's just, there's just no chance. Alright, we'll Waterfall here. Yeah, I think Hariyama made thumbnail in this vid. Hariyama 100% made the thumbnail. Is the Chomp protecting? Making thumbnail in a Pokemon in like a in a Pokemon video is like being employee of the month. That's like the only equivalent really. It's like, yeah. This guy carried his weight. This guy 100% carried the team on his back. He's employee of the month. But yeah, my opponent game 1 like that was scary. That was scary. They played extremely well. Game 2, they played well too. Um but I think just they letting me get rid of the Rotom so early was um it was hard to recover from that, but they they played extremely well. Like they're they're re they're really good at this game. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. I want to thank my opponent uh, for coming on the channel and just giving me a best of three. Not many people have teams in game right now, so uh, I had to reach out to Discord, and they were the first one to reply. So I really appreciate you helping me out here. But yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.